to ask uh, for those of us that will be taking the photos uh, at the spirit of uh, celebrating this uh, would have stood the learning of this book and it will now be available in bookstores those of us who need a copy are now ready right so i could see that she was thirsting for for knowledge and it's good that she has followed it up later on through other networking she, they, they brought her to me to work here because she was very much interested in the, in the line of business always in the line of business now when she joined the staff here she's the one who brought up the idea of the ceo's forums forum it, it, is, it is her idea uh, which is another variant there's another group where we meet the business people and the idea is you are running a, a country but the country is supported by business why don't you have a forum where the business people come and tell you their issues and their views. This is the whole idea of, of free consultancy. Instead of hiring consultants whom you pay money, you just call the practitioners of business and they tell you what is lacking here, what is lacking there, what is needed there. But Oktembura is a verb also which means pioneers, Oktembura, somebody who does something for the first time. Uh -huh. uh, so therefore, the, the, Irene, we, I, we call her Ateni, that is her, her Mbako. Ateni, she is the Mutembuzi of the CEO Forum. the pioneer uh, which has which is where we, we last met in Chobe and uh, they were all there and they were brought all the issues so it's really uh, I, I want to to thank her I, I read some portions of the book I didn't read the whole of it uh, but the idea and I, I thank the young speaker from Zimbabwe you people, Africans, wake up and make your own analysis and your own, uh, because when you make analysis, in medicine they call it diagnosis. Diagnosis, then the next thing you must do, a prescription. You must give medicine to the diagnosis you have, you have carried out. So therefore, I, I want to I will read the book in more, in more detail to, 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 to audit uh, Atenyi's uh, analysis. Be because if, that's where the problem is, that if you don't get the analysis correct, and that has been a problem in, in, in human history, that's why you find some societies uh, either either don't succeed or they succeed partially. He traveled all the way from Jinja. <laughs> Dr. Gashishiri, thank you so much for loving and caring for me. So thank you so much. Your Excellency, as I conclude, I want to again appreciate for providing this conducive environment for us as ladies, but also for the nation. I also want to say that as I started, let the book be an inspirational book. And I would want this book to go to schools, to go to institutional schools, so that we can make a difference. As I said again, the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. 
I blossom where I'm planted. I thank God and I love God. God bless you all. Thank you, Your Excellency. Usually we we'll would give a standing ovation, but I don't know. Thank you. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm. Your Excellency. Good afternoon. My name is Adasa Nesimukisa, and I'm nine years old, and I am honored to recite for you this poem as Auntie Irene launches her book. My poem is called Seeds of Greatness. In every one of us are seeds of greatness. In every one of us lives great potential. This seeds of greatness needs to be inspired. This great potential needs to be nurtured. For every one of us, our seeds of greatness must be weeded and watered. We must be intentional. And, um, Your Excellency, with your permission, we are now going to have in their humble home.